Hi everyone, now that we've successfully configured the environment and installed the ACE plugin, let's take a look at how we can quickly import our own MetaHuman asset into the ACE sample project. But first, let's make sure we've already taken care of the necessary prerequisites. You should already have an Epic Games account. You should also have Unreal Engine 5.3 or newer installed. I'll be using 5.4 for the rest of this video. You should have already installed the ACE Unreal Engine plugin, and you'll want to keep your NVIDIA MVCF API key handy for the rest of this tutorial. You also want to make sure you've already enabled uh, the NVIDIA ACE plugin within the Unreal project. So just quickly, I'll show you how to verify that you've enabled the plugin within your project. So within the editor here, we want to navigate to edit and then just to plugins. And then on the left side here, you can see a section called NVIDIA. Let's click that. And you should already see a checkbox here for NVIDIA ACE audio to face. If you don't see that, you want to enable it and make sure you do a necessary restart. Um, so for now, I'm just going to close this out as I already have it enabled. Um, after that, the next thing I like to do is go to edit and then you can go to your uh, editor preferences. And then within this search bar here, I'm actually going to check for uh, create new. And then you see the here it says create new audio device for plan editor. I'm going to disable this. Uh, if you don't do that, whenever you go to uh, play an editor or Pi mode, what it's actually going to do is cr potentially create another audio device and you won't be able to hear the play out. So I'm just going to disable that. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do on the configuration side is go to my edit and my project settings. And I'm going to actually edit the project settings for the ACE, ACE plugin. So, uh, what you want to do is kind of go down on the left side panel down there, and then you, you'll eventually reach a section under plugins. You can click NVIDIA ACE. Within here, um, uh, you kind of want to configure uh, the ACE server. So for destination URL, we're going to be using MVCF. So for now, I'll actually be able to plug in the default address here, and I have a little notepad to make this a little bit easier for me. So I'm just going to copy and paste this address. So let's just copy that there. And I also have a copy of my API key here. So this one will be invalid by the way, but I'll just plug this in as it's just a test key and expand that. Uh, so after that, we make sure to just click away and then you can close the settings here. From this point on, we're ready to get started with the MetaHuman import. So now after a quick restart to enable the plugin, you can navigate back up to Windows, and then in the Git Content section, there's a Quixel Bridge option you can click on. And this will bring up the Bridge tab. Uh, what you want to take note of is on the left side here, there's a section for MetaHumans. Um, any of these MetaHumans are pr pretty much template MetaHumans you can use to uh, just as is, or you can modify them using MetaHuman Creator on the website. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to necessarily step through how to create your own metahuman. Um, I did so uh, on my own, um, but you won't see that uh, listed here in the uh, metahuman dropdown until you have signed in. You can also not use any of these until you've uh, uh, agreed to Epic Games metahuman uh, license agreement, uh, which you would have to do in order to sign in here. So I'm actually going to go to the top right here and click sign in. And I'm going to enter my credentials. Um, actually, I have two-factor authentication, so this might take a bit of a second. I'm just going to jump right ahead. All right, I have my login code. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. OK. So after logging in, you notice a couple changes. Um, down here, I no longer have the sign in uh, message. I get a quality setting and a download button so I can download this asset locally. Um, I also now have the My MetaHuman section that I told you about earlier. So I'm actually going to navigate there. Um, and then here I have two uh, pre uh, created uh, MetaHumans, Bernice and Tori. Um, I'm going to uh, click on Bernice. Um, and you can kind of see these gray. Uh, grayed out options down here. Uh, anything that shows up in this legacy section just means that you, you've previously created metahumans that might uh, not be compatible with the current version of the engine you're using. So for instance, these are both probably uh, 5.3 uh, metahumans and these are 5.4. Um, so 
Uh, as you can see here, I have this little green check that indicates these are both downloaded. That's because uh, if I click download uh, on a new MetaHuman, this process can take some time um, depending on your internet uh, bandwidth. Um, so for the sake of this video, I didn't want to uh, have that much dead time. So I've, went, I've gone ahead and clicked download. Um, so that gives me the option where I can now just click this add button here, which will add it to my project. So I'm going to do that. This will start importing the assets into the uh, my project content folder. So you're going to get several messages during this uh, part of the process. Okay, and so we finished that part of the process. I can actually uh, close out of bridge now. Um, you can ignore this message down here. Um, so I'm gonna not import. Do, do, do. And you should see a new folder for the character you've just imported. So if I double click this Bernice folder, I see all the new assets uh, that were created here as well as the blueprint. We're gonna be working primarily with this blueprint today. So let's go ahead and open this asset and take a look. Okay, um, so once you have the asset open, uh, it's gonna try to prepare a distance field meshes in the background. Um, so you might experience some performance latency until that's complete. Um, but you can kind of see here, there's a section for AR kit face and lab link setup. This just enables uh, the asset to receive animation data from live link. Um, and the only thing you kind of need to do uh, to get started is go to the at under components, and then there should be an ace audio curve source. As long as you've added this component, uh, you should be able to receive uh, the proper data from the ace service. So with that complete, I can actually close out this asset for now. So I'm just gonna close out that. And uh, I just wanna get Bernice in the scene. So I'm just gonna click and drag from the content browser uh, into the scene, doesn't matter where. Um, I'm just gonna navigate over to this details panel and just uh, zero out that location uh, to make sure they're at the uh, center mark. Um, so at this point, uh, I have Bernice in the scene and she's kind of like in an A pose. Um, if I want a more naturalistic pose, I can do that by supplying an uh, animation asset. Um, the issue is if I click uh, Bernice and click body, uh, you can kind of see that this is a, a skeleton asset that I imported with this metahuman. It's custom to her. Um, so it, it, I, if I navigate up here in animation mode and choose animation asset, um, I won't have many uh, animation options, or at least not uh, the ones that are already pre-supplied in this project. So uh, actually speaking of those, let's Take a look at what we do have here. If you go to the metahuman section under animations in FTU underscore set, um, I see a couple idols here. So I think I'd rather her in this like idle uh, variation D instead of the A pose. So what I can do is retarget these animations to work uh, with my skeleton. Uh, you can do that fairly easily. So if I right click on this animation asset and click retarget animations, um, you'll see the A pose for uh, the source skeleton. Uh, I just need to uh, supply my skeleton and that should be here. Uh, you can see they'll put them side by side uh, just to make sure they're uh, inc incompatible uh, poses. And then from this uh, list down here, I just wanna search uh, for which animations I wanna uh, retarget. And I wanna retarget again this idle variation D, so I'll do that. So I'll click Export Animation. Uh, it's gonna ask me where, and I'm gonna navigate under MetaHumans, uh, just to stay organized. I'll put it under Bernice, and I'll actually right-click and add a new folder and call this one Animations. Okay, and I'll actually add the pre prefix so I don't get confused later on and call it Bernice underscore. And then you can just press Export. Uh, and I'll leave these settings as is for my export options. So I'll click export. And there we are. So I have a new animation asset here uh, that I'll go ahead and right click and save. 
And then in the scene, uh, while I have this body uh, animation uh, component selected, and I have animation asset selected from the dropdown of the animation mode, I can go ahead and uh, click this uh, uh, use selected asset button. And you'll see she immediately snaps to uh, using this animation pose that I have here. So I'm uh, pressing G just to highlight, uh, get rid of all the highlights in the UI. But you can see I have Bernice in a very naturalistic pose in the center of my scene at this point. Um, so next we'll talk through uh, how we can use this uh, asset in the actual play mode or pie mode uh, with our ACE UI.